What's up everybody? Welcome to another review. Do you like music games? How about shooters? I've got a little bit of both for you today. I'm talking about a game called Arrow. It's sort of a hybrid between an on-rails shooter and a music rhythm game. Kind of feels like if Star Fox 64 and Amplitude had a baby, it would be something like Arrow. I've been having a blast with it. Yes, this is a PC game and no, it does not support mouse and keyboard. You need to play with a controller. If you have a problem with that, just get over it right now because it's with really good reason. In this game, you're piloting this futuristic spaceship through these kind of otherworldly levels with this, with the backdrop of this EDM soundtrack. It has a really, really quite impressive soundtrack of licensed music, including Flux Pavilions. I can't stop. I can't play too much of the music because it, it is licensed, but it's a, it's a really good soundtrack, super catchy. Of course, that's important for any kind of music game, that the music is good. But you're flying the spaceship around and you're using your left analog stick to try and follow this path. It's lit up, it's like this neon glowing light trail and you're trying to follow it with your spaceship using your left analog stick. The path is kind of synchronized to the music, kind of to the tune and tempo of the music. And if you fall off the, the trail, the music kind of stops or drops down to a minimum, just kind of drum beats. And then you get back on and you hear the bass and everything kick in again. It really feels immersive. They did a great job integrating the gameplay with the sound design and the music. Everything sounds great. At the same time, you're trying to stay on this track then you have these these bad guys, these enemy spaceships and things coming at you and you have to use the right thumbstick to aim and then uh, use your trigger to fire lasers at the bad guys trying to stay on the track with one thumbstick aim at, aim at bad guys with the other stick and lock onto them you can't just rapid fire at everything, you have to lock on, you can lock on to a certain number of targets and then you shoot and then there's a delay so you're kind of trying to time your shots while you're trying to stay in the right track with your other other thumbstick and then you have obstacles coming at you things trying to squish you it starts off pretty easy and it quickly ramps up in difficulty I barely got through the end on normal difficulty and then you can unlock even harder difficulties I would have liked to have more levels I think there's something like I think there's something like 15 or 18 levels uh, but there are a couple DLC packs out definitely I wanted more of this game it's a whole lot of fun again the sound design is really impressive because when you're when you're firing at bad guys and sometimes you have other targets you can shoot at they're setting off these like drum sounds you have hi-hats and and symbols and it really connects to the music that you're already hearing and just complements it. It's really cool what they did with the sound design on this game. Not only that, but the level design is great. Each each level feels very different. You feel like you're in these different worlds. They're kind of different colors, different environments. You have different kind of enemies. So you might be in this desert sand in one level and then you might be in this dark kind of industrial purple sky backdrop on the next. Colors really play a, a big part in the level design here. It, it keeps everything feeling much different and fresh even though it's kind of kind of similar if you think about it. It's, it's kind of just these barren futuristic places and you're, then you go through these kind of metallic tunnels with machines and things going on but I think because of the clever use of different color palettes and different enemies for each, each level, each environment, it makes everything feel much different and, and fresh. You can definitely cruise through and, and just blast through these levels on normal difficulty, not trying to unlock everything, not trying to get all the high scores. You can probably blast through it in like an hour. I think I, it took me about an hour. But if you really, if you want to unlock the harder difficulties, play through them again, and I have a feeling that that you just very well might because it, it's a whole lot of fun while it lasts. It'll keep you playing for for hours more, trying to do do a better job, earn more stars on the level, unlock the next thing. 
if there's anything that I wish I could have seen in this game, it would have been multiplayer. I think they definitely could have added some cool multiplayer features, maybe some local split screen or some online play. They do have online leaderboards so you can compete against other, other people's scores, but it would, would be nice to have some multiplayer. It's an impressive little game. It feels great, it sounds great, it looks great. And from a small kind of indie game, I'm very impressed. I highly recommend this if you like music games or if you like games like Star Fox, kind of on rails shooters. Definitely if you like music games and rhythm games or maybe if you like EDM. I, I hardly listen to EDM, but even I recognize one or two of the songs and I, it makes me want to listen to more. It's a, it's a great soundtrack great game i haven't played anything quite like it like i say it has elements of other games i've played and enjoyed they did a great job check it out guys it's on steam it's called arrow check out the link below to get a good deal and support a good cause as well and if you like the video please be sure to comment like subscribe share whatever you want to do and uh, be in touch with me i'll respond to your comments and uh, try and make more videos that that you would enjoy thanks for watching guys peace out